Hey everyone, PA Pipe Smoker here. Happy Thanksgiving 2020. I'm going to be making a delicious side dish that maybe you'll enjoy also for your Thanksgiving. Um, don't look at my drawers. Um, so, what I'm going to make is garlic bread. This is going to be probably one of the best garlic breads you've ever had, you've ever enjoyed. I like it. Check this out. Simple, simple stuff. A lot of times people get that store-bought garlic bread. It kind of is like a yellow color. It has a little like parsley flakes thrown on the top. That sucks. <laughs> Just right out, that sucks. If you order garlic bread from a restaurant that normally doesn't make it, or maybe they do make it, they use like a garlic butter, which is nothing but butter and garlic powder. Maybe they'll sprinkle a little parsley flakes on the top if you're lucky. I'm going to kick this up a lot of notches. You're going to want this every night. You're going to get big and fat like me. Let's go. Now, I like to use these Lusitanian rolls here, okay? Now, these, these are the steak roll size. I usually get the hoagie size, which is bigger, but this is all they had. These are hard to come by, so if you, get, if you see them, grab them. Um, they don't have a lot of preservatives in them, so they will mold quickly. I keep these in my refrigerator. We're going to take this bread, we're going to cut it in half down the middle. And totally open it up, two pieces, we're going to make two pieces out of this. Try to get them as even as you can, like so, okay? Now, for the butter about a third stick of butter, okay? What we're gonna do with this, we're gonna stick this in a bowl, and we're gonna put it in the microwave for about 40 seconds or so. If you totally, totally melt it down, it's fine. I like to kind of make it more like a pasty cons uh, consistency, so I don't, I'm not gonna put anything in this right now, I'm just trying to get that butter softened. If you put the garlic in here now, what's gonna happen is you could actually burn the garlic in the microwave. So we don't wanna put the garlic in yet. Um, if you do get the butter totally melted down, it's fine, it'll work. I just think it spreads a lot better if you just make it soft. Um, son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, I guess I left my heater on upstairs and my power went out. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So just in case anyone's real asking, there's a note on my microwave that says, make sure the heater is off upstairs before using the microwave. The heater was on. This house was built in 1900. And sometimes strange things happen if you, it's wired all screwed up. So the fuse, the circuit will pop. That's what happened. So we're back. I had to go into the creepy dungeon of the basement, click the circuit. So, butter is about halfway melted down. Remember, we don't want it melted all the way. If it does melt down all the way, that's fine. We want more of a, a paste. Okay, now to this, we're going to add our garlic. I just wipe my uh, spoon off before I. I don't like the spoon going into the. Um, into the garlic. So, for this, maybe I, and you don't need. You don't use a whole lot of garlic. You, if you use a lot of garlic, you're going to notice it gets kind of nasty. Too much garlic, it's not good. That's when it stinks. Like you don't want to smell like that the next day. Um, so I would say about for this, maybe a quarter ish of teaspoon, maybe a little less. Okay. Now that could be it. You could stop right there, but we're not going to stop right there. We're going to add a few more things to this. My favorite, oregano. And I just dump a bunch in. What I like next, crushed red pepper flakes. Again, you don't have to use this. I like it. 
about a eh, quarter of a teaspoon of this, eyeball it. You could add parsley flakes if you want. We could find them, there they are. You could add that, you don't have to. Just a little bit. Now, we're gonna stir this up and we're gonna spread it on the bread. Make sure you get a nice consistency. So here, see if you could see this, it kind of looks like a green, like almost like, um, it kind of looks like pesto right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread it on our bread. And we're gonna put one more thing on here before you put it in the oven. Some people put a little oil on their bread. I, You could, I personally just don't do it. I think the butter has enough fat in it, enough flavor in it that I personally don't use oil, but you could. You could chop up your own garlic. I prefer these little guys, the pre-diced, the pre-chopped garlic. For me, it works. Um, I don't recommend garlic powder for this. I just think garlic powder is kind of not where I want to go with it. This you want that real garlic, right? Real garlic taste. So we get this nice and spread out, all even, Stephen. And this is what you want to see right now. You want to see that garlic? bread paste as I call it on there. Now, before we stick it in, we're gonna take our Parmesan cheese. I like this jar stuff, not the powdered stuff. And I take a handful of it. Remember, don't stick your finger in the cheese. I don't care how clean your hands are, bacteria on your hands are gonna get in there and that's what makes the cheese moldy. Even the bags, don't ever stick your hands in there. Pour some out and sprinkle it on the top. This is the trick to making this stand out amongst anyone else's. Okay, get a little on there. I'm gonna use a spoon to get, because it's got a little chunk in there, kind of stuck together. I don't want to stick my hands in there, remember. Get the rest out, spread it on. Now, we stick it in the oven. I like to use my toaster oven. And we wait till the magic happens. So, stick it in. It's gonna take about five minutes. You could broil this also. Be very careful with the broilers of the ovens. Even that. It, it doesn't take a long time to cook, and you could burn it. You definitely, definitely don't want to burn your food. Okay? Um, I'm going to come right back when I pull that out. All right. The garlic bread is almost done. I'm going to take a look at it and see if we can pull it out now or not. Yep. Perfect. So, as you can see here, as I burn myself with it, <laughs> oh, that's hot shit. <laughs> here, you see it? That cheese melted nice on the top. Now, what Parmesan cheese is, it's kind of a hard cheese, so it doesn't really melt, melt like mozzarella or cheddar cheese. It almost becomes nice and kind of crusty, and it adds a lot of texture to the top of this also. So let's cut into it and see what it looks like on the inside. Because I can tell you the top, look at that. The top, the, the bottom is really, listen, can you hear that? That's what you want. The top is nice and toasted. The inside, buttery and soft. That butter melted into the bread, but it didn't soak all the way through. That's what's really good about this bread. So, God, that smells that cheese is what does it. The cheese and the garlic. Mmm. 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 
I'll tell you what. If you want to impress your guests, this is so simple. It's bread with butter and garlic and cheese and a couple of spices you throw in there. It's easy. It's quick. You don't have to sit there and stir it all day. So what did I make it in? A few minutes? Mmm. Guys, make some stuff different than you've made it before. Make some stuff that you enjoy. Make it your own way. If you, if you like, well, maybe I want to put black pepper in it. Go ahead, do it. What about paprika? Absolutely. That's usually some of the red stuff that you'll see on garlic bread. Like, why is it red? That's paprika. That's all it is. Try some smoked paprika. If you get your hands on that, you might like it. Now, that some people like it, some people don't. What you do, again, here. I got some smoked paprika right here, in fact. So, I don't know. I've never had smoked paprika on garlic bread before. So, I don't know if I'm going to like it. So, why would I put it in the entire dish, right? Here, put a little sprinkle on the top. Mmm! that that actually tastes good yeah Tim and that's how I know I'm gonna like this from now on in that and you could add it you could take it out do what you want I want you guys to make the food how you want it and explore some other options there's a hundred different ways to make the same dish make it your way experiment try different things I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm out. Hey everyone, PA Pipe Smoker here. Happy Thanksgiving 2020. I'm going to be making a delicious side dish that maybe you'll enjoy also for your Thanksgiving. Um, don't look at my drawers. Um, so, what I'm going to make is garlic bread. This is going to be probably one of the best garlic breads you've ever had, you've ever enjoyed. I like it. Check this out. Simple, simple stuff. A lot of times people get that store-bought garlic bread. It kind of is like a yellow color. It has a little like parsley flakes thrown on the top. That sucks. <laughs> Just right out, that sucks. If you order garlic bread from a restaurant that normally doesn't make it, or maybe they do make it, they use like a garlic butter which is nothing but butter and garlic powder. Maybe they'll sprinkle a little parsley flakes on the top if you're lucky. I'm gonna kick this up a lot of notches. You're gonna want this every night. You're gonna get big and fat like me. Let's go. Now, I like to use these Lusitanian rolls here, okay? Now, these, these are the steak roll size. I usually get the hoagie size, which is bigger, but this is all they had. These are hard to come by, so if you get, if you see them, grab them. Um, they don't have a lot of preservatives in them, so they will mold quickly. I keep these in my refrigerator. We're going to take this bread, we're going to cut it in half down the middle. And totally open it up, two pieces, we're going to make two pieces out of this. Try to get them as even as you can, like so, okay? Now, for the butter, about a third stick of butter, okay? What we're gonna do with this, we're gonna stick this in a bowl, and we're gonna put it in the microwave for about 40 seconds or so. If you totally, totally melt it down, it's fine. I like to kind of make it more like a pasty cons uh, consistency. So I don't, I'm not going to put anything in this right now. I'm just trying to get that butter softened. If you put the garlic in here now, what's going to happen is you could actually burn the garlic in the microwave. So we don't want to put the garlic in yet. Um, if you do get the butter totally melted down, it's fine. It'll work. I just think it spreads a lot better if you just make it soft. Um, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I guess I left my heater on upstairs and my power went out. So I'll be right back.